unfortunately I couldn't get anybody to water them. Uh, but this one survived and um, so did that one. Um, and those clearly did not, well, I guess that one did too, but you know, what am I gonna do? Um, but I'm gonna try to see if I can order some to be delivered and maybe repot them. Um, also, I'm trying to edit my collection. Um, I have more in the bathroom, which is that way. And um, right now I'm kind of into my citruses, very light things. Um, this I got this summer, which I really have enjoyed. Um, it's kind of an old school. I think it came out in 1999. So it's a bit of a throwback. But so far for summer, I would say these are my favorites. Um, this one is very light. They're all actually very light. And this one is almost a skin set. But um, they're just really fun. So we have the Dior Om um, um, Sport, which is a citrus. This is more warm and woody, but still um, just a really classic. And then, I mean, this is just perfect. I got this in Paris. Um, I always try to get a fragrance as a souvenir. That's what I choose to make my souvenirs now. Um, and hold on, let me come. Sorry, it's really dark here. Um, these are more specialty. Uh, these are probably my favorite soaps in the world. I found them when I was in France. Oh my gosh, my thumb looks terrible. And then um, this is another throwback. Retro got that in Paris. And then some of my special. This is a limited. Um, it's not YSL in here, but it's actually the perfume that my grandmother used to wear, um, who's no longer with us, rest in peace. And then some Tom Ford. Um, but I'll... Uh, take you through the stuff at another time. Oh, wait. <laughs> and you know, I mean, it's just, it's unreal. One hand. Um... Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. So we have the two times spicy uh, noodles. These are pretty amazing. Um, and by amazing, I mean painfully delicious. Uh, what's in this box? Ah. So. This is this. Um, these are my rings. Um, I apparently am talking to a trainer and um, I'm going to be able to use these at home um, and do most of my workouts since I couldn't get any weights. Um, that should be interesting. And then the last one, um, let's see, I think I know what this is. It's um, a diffuser oil. Uh, uh, I'm gonna make uh, some bath scrubs um, with some lavender. Um, so I got that. And maybe I can do a, a how I make a bath scrub video. And the fish is almost ready. Um, so yay. Uh, keeping me, I don't know, entertained <laughs> is ordering stuff. Yes! Oh, I love it! Oh, okay. Yes! Um, eggs because they're easy, and I'm on this breakfast and night kick. Um, I love these bags. I want to like, <laughs> want to make an outfit out of them. Hold on, I'm trying to think of like where I can put you. Um, so there you go. That's my little yoga studio. <laughs> um, and I have these weights. These are the only ones I could find. Everything's back ordered um, because of the coronavirus pandemic, um, which is fine. Um, and uh, I guess um, 
I don't know what to say. Um, I'm thinking of doing, oh, this is like a smudgy. Um, I'm thinking of doing a intro maybe today, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow. But um, I'm gonna do a workout now and I guess we shall see each other soon. Um, they're not the greatest, but it's what I could find. Um, and they're easy. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of that. Um, I'm gonna try to put one of these, Calustians. It's a store in New York, it's really cool. Um, hopefully I can show you. Um, you guys can Google it and look it up. I can't take you right now because I'm stuck at home. But, and then some lime. I think that will work. And it's, um, let's see, these are natural fillets. Okay, it's Pollock. I was like, I hope it's just not just fish general. Um, but it's a Pollock. And, and uh, they're, they're, they're... The last one I had was not very good, but I'm hoping with the ginger and the lime, it might be interesting. Anyway, uh, so that's what I'm cooking for dinner. Um, oh, so all this stuff goes in my oven, but I have to take it out to turn it on because that's my limited storage when you live in the city. Um, okay, so I decided I'd walk you through this. Um, these are little frozen fillets. Then I took a zester and the lime, um, put a little bit on top, um, add one of the kaffir lime leaves, um, and then what I'm hoping is, as the ginger melts, and I think I'll put a little bit of oil on top, it will kind of release that essence and perfume the fish. Then I'm gonna try to almost create a pouch, so it kind of steams. Um, I might try to cover the whole thing I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like lazy or whatever about it. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to do to it. And then I'm going to put it in the oven at 380. It's heating up now. And then I believe, I think they say like something crazy, like uh, 20 minutes, but um, I'm probably going to do 15 to 18 and see how that works. Um, oh, and then I added some of these broccoli florets that I got today from my Whole Foods Amazon Prime purchase delivery thing. Um, I don't know why this is open. I think I meant to get the butter. But anyway, oh, this is my freezer. So we shall see. Um, I hopefully that works. Some butter, some mustard would be good. I'm trying not to use butter just to be healthy. Let me hold on. Okay. Hello. Um, you know, that's like a finishing. I need like an everyday kind of oil. Um, I have a lot of like oils that are good for dipping bread and for finishing, you know, salads and stuff like that, but not really like cooking type ones. I don't know, we'll see. Um, hopefully this works out. By the way, this is pretty good and you can find it at a decent price, um, surprisingly. Depends where you are. I've seen it pretty cheaply. Um, but that's it for now. And then now I just have to commit to the thing. Um, I don't want to do it. That's a bug because my windows are open. Hi, bug. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it. I'll show you the results. Um, morning routine um, and then probably start getting into my story a little bit even though I am nervous and I don't know I guess it's just much um, hard to talk about yourself in like that weird uh, third party kind of like you know this is who I am and it's like I don't know um, the people who know me already know who I am but you don't know who I am um, so Made my bed, lazy attempt. I already got it dirty though. I'm not sure what that is. <sighs> but I guess when you're isolated at home, um, that's what happens. I have my drink. Um, so Uber delivers my Starbucks. Um, let me see where I can put you. 
Do, 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 do. No, that's not gonna work. I guess, um, let's see where I can. Hmm. Sorry. Let me, uh, so anyway, um, so Uber does delivery. And I can't get to my, get my coffee, so I treated myself to one and I, oh, I really like that. Um, I think the being at home is already difficult, but then missing out on some of the th things that make your routine feel normal um, make it even worse. So I treated myself to one and I've been reusing the cup. Um, so at least I can pretend it's like, oh, I have my Starbucks. Um, and I think that's important. Um, but, you know, I think we're now what, like into the fifth or fourth month of the quarantine situation and everybody's kind of like realized those kinds of things. Um, so I'm not really gonna get into that. But um, I think from my stress, which is probably mostly from anxiety, um, I've been really breaking out. So I'm going to pop on. Oh, it's backwards because you're in mirror view. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this on and maybe do some stuff and tell you about me a little bit. Um, so um, my name is Carl and I've been thinking about, you know, hold on, I think I have a brush for this. One second. people are gonna judge. Um, that's not the right brush. So we can go through this today. Um, I know I have probably some, what do you call it, friends or whatever that are not sure, you know, some of my friends know about this stuff, some of them don't. Um, and they're gonna be like, wow, he's so high maintenance, which I don't know, I guess I am. One second. Uh -huh. All right, I can't find um, the one that I'm looking for, so we'll have to use this. And I can't see anything about my glasses. Oh, I'm getting, um, I already called and made an appointment for the eye doctor for when I'm out of isolation um, because I need contacts. I don't like wearing them every day, but some days, you know, like for crap like this, it helps so I can see myself. Um, but I'm using this, the sand and sky, um, to see if I can like clear up my skin a little bit. Um, let me wet the brush. This is an old YSL brush, um, which I love. It's not for this, but I can't find the one that came with it. Um, hold on. Um, but okay, so I decided to start this channel because for the longest time I've wanted to, but I've been scared to. Um, I think one of my biggest setbacks and things that keeps me from doing really anything is fear of failure. And that really paralyzes me from making any major decisions in life. Um, and um, I decided that, you know, it's now or never. And probably the, with the way things go, nobody's gonna watch these, it's, nothing's gonna happen, but at least I eliminate the, you know, doubt in my mind that what if I would have done it? Um, and I'm still not really sure what I wanna do with my channel. I have some ideas, excuse me, but I'm not like 100% sure. Um, I've asked my friend Amanda, who owns a PR company, um, to help me because I really don't know what I'm doing. And I think actually for her, this kind of stuff is new too. So I think it's a learning experience for both of us. And oh my God, this is awkward. Um, and you know, 
I think that hopefully it's a place where I can share my story and, oh, I guess I can use this, huh? Share my story and um, also, see, look, oh, and it hurts. So my beard, I get ingrown always here. And then you can't see it, but here, I always get some and have some hyperpigmentation from that that I've been trying to address um, without having to do laser. A, because laser is expensive and I don't want to go down that route. If I can find something I can do at home, that works. Although I don't think anything works as well as those types of lasers when it comes to at home stuff. Um, and, okay, so that seems to be it. Um, oh yeah, so this old brush, I got it a while ago. Um, maybe 2013, I think, in Sephora. I'm not sure which one. I think it was the one that's in meatpacking. Um, but it could be wrong. Uh, if not, it was another one. But um, it's an old YSL brush. I don't know if they make it anymore, but I loved it. I used to use that Touche Clot foundation back then. Um, I was, I've always been really um, conscious, uh, self-conscious of my skin and um, acne. And I don't have a lot, but when I do have breakouts like this and that, I like really focus on them and it's all I can think about. And it's, I don't know, like all of us, I'm insecure when it comes to stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so I got this foundation brush and I really like it and it works for masking cause it's flat. Um, and yeah, if I can find that, I can link it. If not, um, I can't, but it's old. I don't even know if they make this anymore and it's been chipped away. Um, but I love this brush because I don't know how much it was. I think it was probably like 40 something bucks and that's a lot now, but back then that was like an insane amount of money to spend on really anything. Um, I had just moved back into the city. Um, I can get into that story at another time. Um, but anyway, so um, starting my YouTube and why am I doing it and how did it happen? Um, I live in New York and um, when the COVID pandemic thingy started, um, I worked for a restaurant group and they, um, like many restaurant groups, had to let a lot of employees go and they did. And I was here for maybe a little over two months during quarantine and the city lockdown and I was by myself and I was doing fairly okay, um, I think. I was entertaining myself, I was cooking, I was going out for walks, isolated, of course, respecting all the rules that have been set. And my family was just like, why are you there by yourself? Why are you there by yourself? Um, and finally they convinced me to leave. And while I was gone and hanging out with my family, I was only gonna go for like two weeks and they told me to stay longer and I did. And then they put in place the travel um, restrictions um, upon people re-entering New York. And since I was coming from a an area that had high cases, now I've been isolating for a 14 day period as mandatory. Um, and that's given me a lot of time to think. I usually don't sit still very long. Um, I'm always like, I get up and I go and I go, you know, even on the weekends, I, I tell myself I'm gonna sleep in and, you know, relax and unwind and it's been a long week, Carl, it's Saturday, blah, blah, blah. It never happens. I'm out the door, I'm somewhere grabbing coffee, I'm walking around the city, I'm taking pictures, I'm looking for new places and trying to find cool streets I haven't seen and you know, like, oh yeah, that's, ooh, that's a good one. Or sometimes, you know, it'll be like, I'll be watching a favorite movie of mine and um, I notice, oh, like, I think that looks familiar. And then I stop it and I zoom and I'm like, what's that restaurant? And then I go on Google Maps and then I look it up and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I like, I know that street, but I've never seen it from that perspective. And then that gets me on like a little like, let me go down and check it out. And then I start ex 